Hello and welcome to Antipa D&D, a show in which a bunch of Australians play Dungeons and Dragons to escape all of that crap out there. So <laughs> I am David, I am the Dungeon Master of this show, I am joined by Kynwin, Doug, April and Zindi. So let's get straight into uh, our game tonight. To recap, our heroes have reached the fishing town of Golden Ford, or what was the fishing town of Golden Ford? Uh, its population was, well, it, the town itself was depopulated recently by That's the, way to say it. yeah, by uh, the goddess Engadon, uh, who left the town completely empty, completely abandoned, having slain its entire populace. Uh, since then, it was apparently repopulated by a crew of pirates looking to make good, to... Uh, Get square. Yeah, to, to turn a new leaf in their book and become honest folk living in a town. And they have established uh, what is now called the small town of Opportunity. Because uh, they felt Golden Ford was a silly name for a place without, with no gold and no ford. On visiting, our heroes uh, were taken to meet Captain Quinn, or uh, Captain Quinala, a, the drow who uh, was captain of their crew and is now essentially Captain Mayor of this town. And rather than having them pay a fee to pass through, she decided to ask our heroes to help her solve a mystery regarding some members of her crew who had recently gone missing. Jeez. Our crew, uh, rather cannily, uh, chose to uh, use a scry spell to try and identify one of them, something obviously that uh, the pirate crew were not able to do themselves. And they found uh, what appeared to be the body, perhaps, of one bosun Amrit. Quinn's uh, orc bos bosun uh, frozen somehow in ice, even though there's no ice apparently in the area. Uh, while doing this, they realized that they were being observed by Pevat, the high elf, uh, also known as Loverboy, who they have had previous dealings with or encounters with in the arena of Providence. Uh, they uh, cornered Pevat, um, basically intimidated him into uh, basically saying that he didn't, he had no intention to be, uh, to cause the deaths of any people, uh, but uh, that seems to be, it seems to, it seems clear to our heroes that he is in some way in, involved in their disappearance. Uh, and he has, the last thing where we, uh, where we finished last session, he had agreed to take the heroes to where he believed the, the missing persons were, um, while secretly saying to Vitericus that uh, there was an opportunity for them both to become quite rich. So that is where we resume. Uh, the four of you, plus Pevat, are crossing the square in the centre of opportunity. Your airship is, your, your air skiff is still parked there with Glow the Burrowing Owl on guard. Um, she gives Orsi a look uh, and nods and say, you know, all clear here so far, essentially. You know, not with that voice, but... <laughs> she um, can talk the entire time, that's what she sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> she just chose the start now. Yeah. And you come to the front of the, the very fancy opulent uh house that probably belonged to the previous mayor of golden ford that is now occupied by captain quinn and you have the goliath standing out the front with um with his sick gun yeah with his yeah. seven barreled volley gun basically seven muskets seven musket barrels glued to one stock and uh he looks at the five of you and says, uh, well, what you want now? Well, our investigations seem to bring us back to the manor. 
So we're going to have to have a bit of a look inside, I'm afraid. All right. Captain's quarters are off limits. Of course. All right, go on in. Thank you. Uh, cool. Uh, as we're walking in, I guess uh, I'm going to keep buddying up to Pavat a little bit. Mm -hmm. And just be like, look, if, if this payday is as big as you say it is, is it going to be enough for me to ditch these losers and go my own way finally? Um, and uh, at this point I'm going to get a... We'll make it a stealth roll from you. Um, if you're trying to not be heard by the others or make it look as though you're not trying not to be heard by the others. How do you know yeah, that's so not that Vetti's real just... sentiment? <laughs> we, we don't. That, that's why I gave the option. You're, you're assuming that it is. Okay, it better uh, be deception, of, bitch. That's a total of eight for the stealth roll. What if the okay. double cross is real? Um, I look forward to it. So the rest, uh, with all of your passive perceptions, you can all hear Vetericus <laughs> doing this. Um, um, and Pavat is going to look at the others, yeah, look at around at all of you, and then say back to you, Vitericus, um, I don't think now's the time to talk about it, but, and he silently nods at you. Perfect. Um, at this point, I'm going to say to everybody, Hey everyone, I only have six seconds, but I'm going to need you to pretend that you forgot what I just said. Uh, I'm planning to make it look like I'm betraying you, but I'm actually going to be getting Pavat deeper in shit. Uh, three, two, one, go. And I cast Gift of Gab. Oh. Uh, what is Gift which of is Gab a do? new spell that I have picked up. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so I'm going to pull out my Taroka deck, shuffle two gold coins into it, which disappear as the royalty component for this particular spell. Um, any creature of my choice, or sorry, yeah, each creature of my choice within five feet of me forgets everything I said in the last six seconds. Right. Wow. No saves, no nothing. <laughs> um, all Pavat remembers is, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to say that, which is the verbal component of the spell. <laughs> <laughs> is this Jim Dark Magic spells? It is a dark magic spell. Wow. So I'm down of course to gold. it is. <laughs> Anything with royalties is Inquisitions mm -hmm. Incorporated. <laughs> But uh, that is that is perfect for Vitericus, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So what is the last thing we remember you saying? So you guys remember everything, but you're going to look like you've forgotten that I okay. said that I was going to ditch you. Pavat has completely forgotten that I just said I'm playing at it <laughs> rather than actually doing it. All right. The only answer you get from Dagmar is a bit of a sigh. <laughs> well, he's just like, uh, fair enough, man. Um, dungeon Mozart. Master, I have a question. Yes. When I saw the frozen body of the orc boy, mm -hmm. um, did I see anything on him? Uh, it was probably yeah, you. You only got a very brief glance. Uh, you put just enough to see that he was clothed, but that's about it. Hmm. I'm wondering oh. if I could like. Locate Did object on his t-shirt or something. Didn't die with he dick out at least. I don't know if I can specifically locate object on weens, but we can always find mm. out. Mm. <laughs> uh, Please uh, try. You, you would have noticed um, just a simple waistcoat, I think. Waistcoat. Yeah. Describe or name an object that is familiar to you. Alternatively, the spell can locate the nearest object of a particular kind, such as a certain kind of apparel, jewelry. Oh, okay. So if I say I'm looking for waistcoats, I'll just get a ping for every single waistcoat in this mansion. From the wording, it seems to say the nearest. The nearest one, right? Yeah. Right, right. And uh, lover boy. Popular are waistcoats. Pivet, How popular are waistcoats? Pivet is wearing a waistcoat. They are very popular. Shit. Th that is uh, the, the leading fashion. Okay. A lot of waistcoats. Another reason to right. hate the derivative fucker. Okay, uh, I will not do that then. I will maybe wait until we're a little bit further down the line and maybe okay. try that. Uh, he, so Pavat leads you to, uh, turns left uh, through the foyer. Um, Captain Quinn's chair, a uh, throne is currently unoccupied. She seems to be elsewhere in the building. Pavat uh, turns left, uh, goes down a hallway and then stops at a door 
which uh, it's it's a heavy oaken door and it's less uh, decorated than the ones around. It doesn't have any fancy panelling on it. And when he opens, you can see steps leading down to what uh, must be a cellar, but uh, uh, it is dark down there. Vinny, did you re-pick up lights? Uh, no, lights is the one I lost, but I do still uh. have the drift globe. Mm. So mm. I'm just going to bust that out. And okay. Well, there's a torch. provide you can go down first. It's not trapped or anything, is it? Uh, yeah, but that's this. Oh, please, do you think I would l just lead you all into a trap? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just going to kick him in the pants down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, she's doing it. Okay. What do I roll? <laughs> um, uh, this is just an unarmed attack. Does he have to roll for each step? In the staircase? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope That's a 12. Uh, can I go... Yes, I'm going to hit Dagmar with silvery barbs, quietly. Mm. What does that do? Does that add my... Uh, no, now you just roll again and use the lower roll. Did you... Oh, you're trying to thwart my attempt to fuck him up. I am. Oh, man, it's a natural one. Ooh. Oh, that oh that's the, the worst take. one you could do. Okay, um, first of all, well visually... You fall down the dang stairs. Yeah, I mean, that is going to happen. But uh, oh. visually, Vitericus, what does Silvery bar Barbs look like? Uh, it's literally just a verbal component, so it'll just be like a whistle, uh, mm -hmm. like I used to when I was controlling the shades, and it's just distracting enough that Dagmar effectively gets disadvantage on the attack. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to whistle again... Uh, well, sorry, continue the whistle into advantage for me for the next minute. Ooh. Which is the other part of Silvery Barbs. <laughs> so, Dagmar, you go to kick um, Pevat in the bum, send him down the steps. Um, but uh, That is a high kick for a dwarf anyway. But mm. for some reason, for... Vitericus whistles and uh, distracts both you and Pevat and... Dagmar just goes right past Bevat and just boop, dunk, dunk, son of a boop, down the <laughs> steps. And yeah, they're swearing all the way down. Mm. How deep do the stairs go? Yeah. Yeah. Do I take damage on that one? Deep enough to roll a four on uh, 1d4 Damn. Bl bludgeoning Ooh. damage as you go down. It's your funny bone. It's enough that you I... are a little sore and bruised when you get the bottom, get to the bottom, but uh, happily you don't think you've broken anything at least. And Dagmar is going to give just... Vitericus a look of just her pride. mild spite <laughs> as he comes down. Vitericus quietly signs, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, stairs aren't trapped. Has Dagmar learned any um, common sign language? Yeah, I think she's been working to learn the basics with Connie, if not, like, she's not going to be fluent, but she's, you know, your hey, tourist you. sign? I think sorry is one of those words you learn pretty quickly, especially around Vitericus. Especially when you're learning the sign language. Yeah. She's going to give you one that sort of, uh, in universal sign language means, fuck you. <laughs> Entirely fair. But, like, in a nice... Friendship way. Hmm. Cheerful, fuck you. Uh, it is uh, dark down there, except there is now a light being cast down from the drift globe at the top of the steps. Uh, so everybody at the top is now, uh, I imagine, silhouetted or you know, brightly lit. And mm. Okay. And Pavat says, uh, well, if there were any traps, they would have been discovered. Uh, that is one way to do it. You're not wrong. I am good at checking for traps. <laughs> good work, Dagmar. Very Thanks. professional. Of course, he's going to go down the stairs. Yep. I think Mozart will be bringing up the rear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Pavat looks. There's a moment where Pavat looks. Uh, you know, stands aside and gives you the, the, the after you gesture to the two of you up there. No. Uh, I will bow even deeper and make a much more elaborate after you gesture. Oh, he's having a great time with everyone bowing at him. So <laughs> uh, and he says, fine. And he walks down after Orsi. 
Wonderful. Um, the Drift Globe comes down with you if you follow him down, Vatericus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll be next, and then Morzot at the back. Cool. Mm -hmm. And it is a, uh, it is indeed a cellar. Uh, there are uh, racks with r wine in them, uh, quite a few, in fact. Um, and it looks like a number have been raided sometime within the past <laughs> month or two, but there are still an, a number there. And uh, there are some shelves and uh, stone walls. And at the moment, uh, it just looks like an ordinary cellar until uh, Pavat walks up to what looks like a cupboard and reaches around behind it and pulls. And you mm -hmm. can see that this cupboard is on rollers. Perfect. Shady fucker. And behind it, there is a door. Uh, Pavat takes a key out of his pocket, puts it in the door, unlocks it, um, and then pulls it open. And uh, beyond it, you can only see a, a dark tunnel with stairs going further down. Right, so when he said that he just pointed the dude in the direction, it was actually more like that it was at the bottom of a locked filing cabinet. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. There were very um, specific pointings and directions. Mm. Aussie's going to dismiss uh, Glow. Okay. And just have her in the Feywild for now. Glow was standing guard over the skip. Yeah, she was on the yeah. boat. Okay, cool. Yep, she was on the boat. She's now hanging out in the Feywilds for a bit. Yep, playing with the pixies. Yeah. Mm. Um, and Pavat says, Ugh. That is where he went. Uh, oh. If you would care to investigate, I do not know what is down there, but uh, I, I... So why did he go down here? Because you told him to? No, no. I, I told him I was worried what might be down there. Insight like check, the please? Thing. Yeah, insight... Insight check? Insight check from Orsi, please. Someone with a higher wisdom than me maybe want to insight check too? Not oh, me! I did good. Nat, uh, not nat 20, plus 20. Great, that means, that means I actually have to roll for him. <laughs> yeah, he is Sorry. definitely, um, with such a low roll, uh, he is definitely trying to con you. Oh my <laughs> god. I love him, he's such a shit. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do with this information. Gonna, or is he just going to roll his eyes? Because I, I think you should just... Uh, can we not kick him down the next set of stairs? <laughs> I'm happy say, to try again. You can certainly yeah, don't try. don't know what's down there. You're going to find out. Before Dagmar yeah. sort of gears up for the kick, I think I'm going to say, why don't you come with us? And uh, and I'm going to canter it message to him. Uh, you don't want these guys getting their, hand on, their hands on whatever's down there, do you? Without you around. And he can reply to that message? He can reply. Yeah. Uh, he will say back, um, could be easier to send the three of them ahead to be dealt with, and then we clean up afterwards. So oh, dark. So very dark. Very slightest head shake from Vitericus. Uh, Orsi is uh, going to he summon. Sort of changes pitch and goes, Orsi, why don't you go first? Good idea. Glow? Orsi's going to summon Glow. Glow appears. Um, Glow looks, Down the stairs, at, looks at you, looks around, and you get an impression of, oh, great, you know, I'm underground again. You're a burrowing owl. owl! Why are you Three complaining? Three seconds with the pixies. <laughs> um, Glow Down will fly down. Please give me a perception check from Glow, please. I'll also yes. mention that as you're standing at the top of these steps, you can feel cool air coming up from this tunnel. Okay, so she has advantage because she is an owl. Oh, oh net 20 from Glow! Wow. So 23. Nice! Yes. Oh. Get it, uh, Glow. Glow zooms down. Uh, further down she goes, the colder it gets uh, to the point where she comes into 
So it's basically a straight tunnel. It's only about two feet wide with steps uh, going down. It looks like it's been cut out of the rock around here. So this mm -hmm. has not been constructed, it's been tunneled. And it then opens into a uh, space that is quite dark, but Glow can perceive it because she is an owl and she gets the sense um, that First of all, it is large. It's like a, a cave. Secondly, there is ice everywhere. And thirdly, it is very cold. Very cold. Okay. Um, but in this first room, uh, this first space cavern, she sees nothing else of interest, but there is a, a gap in one of it, it almost looks like a wall of ice and it looks like mm -hmm. there might be more beyond it. Okay. All right. Well, she's going to summon her back. Poof. She reappears. Yeah. Wow. It's like a whole cavern down there. It's full of ice and everything. Um, really chilly. Bad. Yeah. Really I didn't bad. see, I didn't see our missing orc friend, but it looks like there was like more way to continue down. So, I mean, she didn't see any monsters or anything so and Pavat says oh i mean that i guess the ice explains the cold air mm -hmm. so i don't know maybe he maybe he's all right after all maybe he's just maybe hiding down Could there be. somewhere yeah sure is one possibility well shall we yeah. it seemed all right very chilly though very chilly did it feel supernaturally cold or just like heck and cold because there was a bunch of ice? It was heck and cold. Um, heck and cold. It right. is uh, unusual, uh, you would think, for an underground cave to be inexplicably freezing. Getting so, some real Zelda ice cave vibes. Yeah. I was going to say, watch out yeah. for the ice traps and the things that slide across and go. The ice wizards. Mm. Okay. Yeah, right. Are we yeah. headed down? Who's, go who's going uh, down first? Dagmar's going to quietly set her arrows to fire power, and uh, she guesses she will head down first while checking for traps. Okay, give me investigation as Dagmar goes down and... Does anyone have detect magic? I'm sorry, I'm a bad wizard. I don't have it. I do not, I am afraid. I think, I think you know that magic or... makes my brain hurt. I can, but yeah. you know what it is with me. You don't have it prepared. That's a good uh, one. I always have prepared. Morzod, you do have it prepared. Oh, uh, no, oh, no, no, sorry, you don't. Sorry, I was no, looking no, at the no, wrong no, list. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. It's all right, we'll um, stand on ice cold. Uh, I will say, uh, Morzod, you've only got 13 out of 14 prepared at the moment. Oh, oh cool. So I will let you, um, because I Someone's know... Someone's going to have to tell him to do it anyway, yeah. though. Um, I think Orsi would have asked. I, I think... feel like Orsi and Morzod have that relationship. Yeah. Detect mm. magic. All right, there you go. It's preparinated. Okay. Perfect. All right, so are you um, going to cast that? Um, It's a good idea to cast that, is, I think. Is Orsi going <laughs> to just kind of go, is there any magic down there? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Dagmar's checking for traps, and I sort of don't know how to check for magic. So That's silly. Good. It's easy. You got to smell oh, it. You just, I'm sorry. You just My ask powers God. don't come from God. Yeah. <laughs> I had to read books and learn and go to school for the past 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really pay attention <sighs> to reading books and stuff. Anyways, yeah, you can smell it. So uh, I'm going to sort of nudge that? Pavat and go, imagine studying to use your spells okay. as I pocket the drift globe and pull out my rapier and <laughs> set it alight, because that casts light too. So now I'm ready for battle. Cool. Uh, it, uh, uh, you don't I have don't, to... Look, I, don't, I don't have to roll. Yeah, it's, it's just, just automatic. It just happens. Yeah. So it's yeah. within 30 feet. It just smells it. Yeah, so um, Mozart concentrates, so he squints and sniffs. Yep. Yeah. And this is going to be available to you for up to 10 minutes as long as you minutes. concentrate on it mm -hmm. yeah um, i just didn't want to stand on a stair glyph yeah you do exploding yeah, runes. you do not detect any magic cool yeah magical glyphs traps or anything like that on the steps uh but you do become aware of something magical uh you're used to minor magical auras from your uh colleagues because they have mm. magical items in their possession there is also one on 
uh, Pevat Loverboy. It is at oh, his course. waist in um, what looks like a, a scroll case. No, no, there's, there's not a not a whole lot of magic going on. I mean, there's the usual smelts coming off you, and what's his face? There's um, got a bit of a smell about him. Excuse me. Yeah, you got. I can smell it. It's on. It's in whatever that is. It smells like uh, transmutation, by the way. It's it's it smells all shifty, not like you. <laughs> I. I don't understand why I'm letting you speak to me like this. <clears throat> you ain't got much of a choice. Uh, yes, that's what I... Uh, I forgot about that part. Very oh, well, I mean, you're talking... What kind of a little... Packing a scroll there, are you, Pavard? Yes, I'm a spellcaster. Of course I have s scrolls, should I need one. What kind is it? It smells shifty. Is that any of your business? Yes, uh, now. Yes. Oh. Uh, give we're me... not asking to see your underdax. Uh, Might be helpful if we're going downstairs. Yeah, I think you've done well enough in all of the your previous intimidation roles that uh, I'm checks. not going to uh, make this go any further. So he's, oh, okay, okay. And he reaches in and takes out a scroll and uh, hands it to you, uh, Morzod. Orzi just passes it straight to Orzi. Yeah. <laughs> Orzi will look at the scroll. Orzi, uh, you will see that this is a polymorph spell. Mm. Okay. Uh, and Interesting choice for a bard, but you do you, I suppose. And he says, I like to keep my options open. Fair um, enough. Weird may, I have it, may I have it back, please? Sure. Unless you hand it back. He puts it back in his case and says, well, shall we proceed? Yeah, I think Dagmar was checking for traps and already went down the stairs. Yes, yeah. Dagmar. Well, she um, rolled a 13, so I don't know if she found any. Okay, with a 13, no, you did not find any. Um, and sure. But as you get to the bottom of the steps, you are fine. Nothing has ensnared you. Excellent. Or see, we'll follow suit. Perfect. I'm going to subtly adjust so that Morzod goes down in front of uh, Pavat and me. Mm, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Morzod is. Morzod is bringing up the rear. He knows he's bringing up the rear, and he is not going to accept <laughs> anybody else. <laughs> This is just like a one of those dances where like Viteric is mm -hmm. trying to go yeah, around. Yeah, one, one, one of those yeah, awkward yeah. shuffles on the steps. Yeah. Except I'm trying to stop you. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty narrow passageway too. Right? Yeah, it's really. Yeah. Mozart is Mozart is pretty good at filling a space. Yeah, slipping past yeah. him. I will Please try for just, a bit. Just pick give him up and, and turn and... him around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I'll I'll make sure Pavat's in front of me. But yeah, we'll head yeah, down. absolutely. No problem. Yeah, down is that way. Okay, you all make your way down into this large cavernous space where it is now uh, cold enough that uh, it is making you a bit uncomfortable. You can um, see Mozart's nipples. <laughs> yeah, you got a got a <laughs> cut like, yes, diamonds there, bud. Full beam, full uh, beam, enormous half orc nipples going so, on. <laughs> uh, for reference, this is like walking into the walk-in freezer at a shopping centre, which they used the to do. Is... Yeah. It's not too Dragon bad. Hates it. I always, I always like doing that at the bottle. Of hmm. course, he's not a cold weather, super cold weather boy either. Mm. And, um, but this is a large, uh, enclosed underground cavern from the looks of it. Uh, but the walls are a combination of stone. But uh, you're noticing, actually, Dagmar will notice. Uh, it is, there's been a transition from the natural sandstone of the area to limestone. Fuck, we're doing it again. Um, <laughs> we keep doing that thing where we walk down a thing and it changes while we're walking down it. Uh, <laughs> so, what untrustworthy corridors. Right? So this is possibly a cave that uh, is not natural to this area. It might have been placed here during the cataclysm or something like that. 
Um, but the walls geological are... shit happening down here. But the walls are. Is a there combina- any evidence? Oh, go on. Yeah, they're they're limestone walls, uh, but with ice sheets of ice at least a foot thick over them. And uh, Morzord's detect magic isn't getting any hits from the ice. It's yeah, not magical yeah. ice. Are the pings? Uh, no, the ice is yeah. not magical. Cool. Um, is there any evidence that this was like a ruin or a anything Are there like drow that? letters on this one? <laughs> is there any evidence of like a, any puddings? Like, yeah, is there any puddings? <laughs> yeah, so we look. We look up. Oh, like, oh, okay. Okay. Really, now you mean the enemy pudding, and I was like, when you said pudding, I was like pudding cups. Like, oh yeah, protein, been down here. Who's been eating snack pudding. packs down here? Yeah. I yeah. Think what you're asking for is bruise, can you make a per- can you make a perception check, please? Yeah, yes. we look up. I think, like, um, with my background, I never use. Uh, that's a nine. I'm busy smelling for magic. Uh, I have my historical knowledge background. When I enter a Mm. ruin or dungeon, I can correctly ascertain its original purpose and determine its builders, but that's only if there's, like, shit here. This is not a... uh, Aussie, you can automatically see that this is not a constructed space. Um, I got a 17 on perception. Yeah. Um, Dag's got 25. Nice. And she is looking for anything that wants to kill us. Yeah. Dunk- Dunkaroos, that's what I was trying to think of. Um, and she is intrigued as to whether they have repurposed it as a freezer for food. So, Orsi, you don't see any more than what Glow uh, perceived while in this space. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dagma, you also don't see anything unusual, but you think you might hear something. Like a very... It could be wind. Um... <clears throat> It could be sound of a creature maybe sleeping. No, it's a cry of oh. breathing. It is coming like from a, it is coming from uh, ahead of you, from the uh, little gap in the wall. Let it be known that my money's on cryohydra. Yeah. So I, Dagmar is going to hold up her hand and look back and say, there is either perfectly harmless wind or something asleep. And my money is on not the wind. Okay, don't like that. Or perfectly harmless something asleep. I mean, that is an option, True. but we've never met one yet. Um, how how wide is the opening in the ice? Uh, it is about eight feet wide. Okay, so whatever's down here can't be that big, right? What if There's it can squish? I'm mm. small, but I'm very deadly. Good point. Well, I mean, I'd fit through that hole. And you might have to, Dagmar. It's the oh, only way shit. forward. I'm Are there any bad. footprints or scuffs or marks on the ice that a orc may have made? Um, give me investigation. No, sorry, survival for footprints and tracking. Why am I doing this? I'll roll it as well. I will help Aussie. I got a five. He's Grew up in a tower. What is dirt? 17. 17. Okay. She she is all about caves, but not icy ones. Yeah. Uh, Neither of you see any tracks in what is... uh, It is now clear that you are walking on uh, several inches of ice, and it has come to the point where it is slippery enough that you actually have to move slowly if you're going to avoid falling over. All doing the uh. <laughs> um, because I gather slipping on ice be- happens because when your foot comes down, the pressure or perhaps the friction, I think it's the pressure, actually melts just the top layer of the ice, turns it to water, and then you suddenly have this difference mm. in surface type, and that's when you start slipping. That's how you yeah, skate. I- that's how skates work. Yeah. I have a messed up knee because I slipped on ice when I was 17. So mm-hmm. I believe it. Ice is... <laughs> I lived in Canada for ages and Canadians just walk on ice and they're like, oh, grip with your toes, eh? And I'm just like, fuck all of you. <laughs> 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 grip with your toes. Shut up. Um, so you don't find uh, any tracks through this opening. What you yeah, do find... Ice. Uh, Dagmar, you spot 
uh, glistening in the Ooh. light of Vitericus's drift globe. Um, Rapier, I think now. Yeah, we're over to the sword, ah, yes. which casts out light in 40 feet, not 20. Ah. Nice. Um, beneath the ice, you see little specks of, it looks like gold. Uh, and you think Golden Ford. You think you're looking at a an underground frozen river with gold coins trapped in the ice. Right, this is like that at? thing from the Hobbit and I don't like it. Yeah, so Dagmar is going to slide over to Orsi and um, can she... Oh god, she has to do a stealth roll. Um, she would like to say without anyone else hearing uh, there is a lot of gold under this ice. Does um, everyone hear? Uh, Shall I roll stealth? <laughs> please roll stealth. Fuck. 14. Okay, any of you with... The best rogue. Any of you who have 14 or higher as your passive... Perception will have heard that. Oh, yeah. yeah. 21, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Let's... Hey, there's some gold under here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to share a little yeah. bit of that. I assume this is what he's been talking about, right? Um, that, he... that is the look that he's giving. He is going to look back at you and... Uh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to make him do a sleight of hand as he tries to, uh, what he's essentially. All right. If any of you have passive perception of 17 or above, you will see Pavat do this. Um, Vitericus, you will see it anyway, because you're the, the target. And he, uh, very subtly shakes his head and finger to lips, and then points mm -hmm. further into the cave. What was the roll, sorry? 17. Yes, I saw it. Cool. Plus he doesn't see shit. <laughs> Mozart's behind them, he doesn't see it. Yep. Hey, uh, fire rapier. Yeah, is raising an eyebrow, but that's... Excellent. She assumes How... that Vitericus is pulling a hustle. How far down is the gold coins? Is it pretty surface? Uh, about a foot underneath. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty deep. Yeah. That's so deep. That is like just days with a hairdryer. How and would you see yeah. that, even? And it's not. Well, I've seen the ice. Yeah, yeah, is it, is right? it crystalline? I was going to say, ice? it's really, really clear ice. We're talking cocktail ice. Yeah. It's not a um, carpet of gold. Um, it no, is. They like are individual coins, coins right? and they are at yeah. various depths, but most of them you think are about a foot down. Well, Dagmar has a really good depth perception. So she is not going to be undignified and try and stab at it. <laughs> why? Why is everything frozen down here? What? What? It's not that cold. What time of the year is it? It's pretty early I mean, on in the year, right? It's it is. Not even cold. It's not geologically um, normal. I'm gonna say. It is well, yeah. Basically, the height of summer above ground. So this isn't a magic thing. I mean, not getting any. Did we walk into a different? place is this does anyone feel like we've walked into a different place again i mean because any wall whenever don't you touch it uh morzod. whenever you go somewhere else you're yeah, going I'm to still a different place magic. yeah morzod since you've you have moved a bit further into this space you are now getting magic pings multiple pings um further into the cave um multiple Possibly objects uh, or items, and uh, they are one or two of them at least. Are they are so magical? They are. Oh. They are. You know, trying to think of a way to describe it in smell. Um, <laughs> really spicy. They reek. Oh. Yeah, they reek. Not necessarily in a bad way. But in a, it's like you've walked into the perfume section yeah, of Grace you're, Brothers. You're in a dusk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's all, scented candles. That's mm. interesting in what, but I can smell something pretty magic further up. Oh. Yeah, like it's um. You know, you know. Uh, oh, what, what would Mozart relate that to? I wonder. 
You know when you're walking in the kitchen and they got a pot of stew on and it's just like the whole room's full of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's it's up there. It's just got magic going on. That does right. seem uh, on brand with the giant sleeping thing I can hear. Uh, what flavor of magic? Dagmar, you don't hear it anymore. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Uh, the thing I could hear is no longer audible. I mean, so... are we being pretty loud? I mean, it's a cave, right? Probably echoes. Um, We're always loud. <laughs> a voice uh, says... Who disturbs me now? Oh, I hate Is that. Is it a dragon? I hope it's and not. And Pavat starts to run ahead. Are any of you going to try to stop him? Mm, yeah, He's running I, towards I the voice? It, He's running, to I wish, running I wish towards to the voice. Him, grab him by the back of his collar and hook him up. Okay, give me... Uh, just a dexterity check, please, to react While quickly Morzo enough. While Morzord is doing that, can Orsi also please cast Detect Magic? Um, and while they're doing that, Dagmar is going to give Vitericus a can I shoot him in the knee now look. Uh, 13 wait. on the dex check. Okay. Uh, Orsi, you can detect magic? I thought you... Yeah, you can. He's trying to encourage Morso to use magic. <laughs> <more>. <laughs> He's pulling a con! That's cute. I like How that. How nice of him. Um, mm. Does like really that quietly. have to roll to get away? Uh, yeah, he, and he fails miserably. Uh, so... Uh, Morzod has Pavat by the uh, back of his cloak. That's and, rough. Yeah, that's uh, rough. Pavat shouts out. Um, he shouts out, Imadonel, we are betrayed. Defend yourself. Seems bad. And the voice comes, comes again. Show yourselves. I tire of waiting and of hearing your voices. Of course, my lord. Hey, what uh, the fuck, actually? What the shit is this? Now? Are we going down there? Um, uh, Mozart's holding me and goes, the fuck is that? I am going to drop you all. Oh boy, something with a grid on map, it. map, let's go. I'm Hi! Hi. <laughs> what is scary? So here you are. You've just come from this space to the east. Okay. Ahead of you is the next. Uh, Weren't we already on the gold floor? Uh, you are standing basically just in front of it. So you've just uh, reached it and are looking down well, at it. In that case, I'm probably back here somewhere with Pavat. Okay. Uh, that better uh, not be a dragon's horde. I can only on. see me. This Should gorgeous. I see other things? This gorgeous map. Ah. I can see Vitericus dancing yeah, around. Vitericus <laughs> is really yeah, freaking I out. Vitericus is absolutely doing the boogie. Please stop moving like, so I can... Like, is he running around with the... Just... Please, well, stop... Par... Please stop I guess I don't have dark vision, right, so... No, no, so you're just looking around so going, that what seems the about right. On? You should yeah. be able to see 30 feet at least. Oh, sorry, 40 so feet. So you're carrying a burning sword. Mm -hmm. Bright light for 40 feet, dim for another 40, so I should be okay. Yeah, I'll just modify your token settings. But yes. I think that's how it works. Change my music to battle yeah, there music. We go. My music right now is a uh, riff on like banjo kazooie music. So it's oh. it's very kind of slapstick. I love this. I'm listening to the Ice Cave theme from Zelda. Oh yo, that's that's where it's at. By the way, this this map is from uh, Two Minute Tabletop, who mm. just happened to have exactly what I wanted. Nice. <laughs> they kinda, oh, they kinda, that's what they do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, they anticipate needs. It's yeah. It's always sort of you know uh, essentially a coin co a coin toss whether anybody's going to have something that fits everything you had in mind and this is one of those mm -hmm. times where i said wow that that has everything yeah, i needed that's for exactly this exactly it mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. good 100 percent the thing uh so uh more you should you should probably be next to pavat since you've just that's grabbed him oh we do mm -hmm. have a pavat we do oh yeah. he's a little animo yeah that, that was um it's our arena pavat right yeah that was yeah. the token i designed for him for the arena ah fight. you little jerk yeah i remember now uh, so uh you've just heard a deep rumbling voice from mm. ahead of you 
insist that you show yourselves because they are sick of your hearing your voices. What yeah, do you do? Valid. Moors on with get bagged by the scruff. He's like, all right, what the fuck was that? Mm-hmm. Dagmar is going to aim her arrow at Pavat just for like assistance to Morzod's questioning. Okay. And Pavat is going to say um Pavat is just going to uh shout out uh obviously not intended for you he's going to shout out I found I brought some people they said they're going to help but now they're just here to slay you I'm sorry oh you little shit go I'm going to walk out into the open area past the, the little breach and go uh, not so my lord not so we are here to help Pavat can back you up that at least I am here to help give me a persuasion roll please Vitericus. Certainly, it's been more than a minute, right? So Silvery Barbs no longer gives me advantage. Um, yeah, it's probably been just a bit over a minute. Coming down, searching, being careful. Yeah. Does the dragon recognize the belt? Okay, we're assuming, the that we're assuming it's a dragon. It could be anything. Well, yes, that is true. The creature cannot even see you at this point. Uh, 29 on the persuasion check. Wow! Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And the voice... Says, All right, then, seems legit. <laughs> the voice then says, <laughs> Then show yourself. Yeah. I'll walk out here. Where am I, where am I showing myself to? Okay, you step out there. You don't see yep. anything, but you see uh, the passage winds around this way to the southwest. Cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll wander up. Hey, 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 not by yourself, you know. The south starboard, right? Larboard. Larboard. Yeah. Larboard. Why are the two squishy okay. ones going first? When you get there, Vitericus, right. um, uh, not that close. You now <laughs> see a pile of gold and <laughs> objects. Um, Nailed it. This is a horde, and it, on top of board. it, there is Come on. a white dragon. Yeah! Yes, let's go. April, I was so it's annoyed up. after last week's show when you speculated, what if it's a dragon, a white dragon's <laughs> lair? I'm trying to just keep a poker face. <laughs> Play too much D&D. &D. Mm. Illustrate and, too much D&D. &D. Yeah. Uh, the dragon looks at you, Vitericus, and says, what are you, thief, assassin, or liberator? Odd. <laughs> yeah, I am much as I, uh, good. <laughs> I am much as Pervat is. Uh, I am here to render what assistance I can to those who need it, with a deep and respectful bow. Um, persuasion or deception? I feel like. Uh, I mean, we sort of are here to help. Yeah. It's a white dragon. Do we like whites? Are they? I don't know. I don't well, know. maybe okay. this one's nice. I please, don't know. Please tell me you're having this conversation aloud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's assume we are. Let's assume. Well, I mean, I don't really go and help people, so let's make it deception. Okay. Yeah. This could be a very nice white dragon. Who knows? Uh, twenty-eight. I don't know anything about white dragons, so you guys, this is all going completely over my head. Colors generally evil. Metallics generally good. Oh, okay. Um. And uh, the dragon says, Pervat claims that you come to slay me. He's a deceptive shithead. <laughs> Morzod's all the way back in the opening of the cave. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. but Morzod is, but Morzod is hearing it. Morzod is definitely hearing <laughs> so, this. So you, you just hear that from down the corridor. That's because he's a deceptive shit. I love that. And <laughs> uh, Dagmar, like is nodding furiously even though no one can that, that's not audible <laughs> and you hear a rumbling noise come from the dragon that might be laughter mm -hmm. and the dragon ha. says uh if he is in your control bring him to me control well i mean i've got him by the shirt let's waddle 
frog march him down there. Dags will lower the bow. I mean, you don't have to. Because, well, I mean, she can tell from this distance that it sounds fucking dragony, so she's gonna, like, try not to piss off the dragon. Okay, that's fair. Alright, so uh, we're gonna just sort of move piecemeal. You you move your avatar, and then I'll... I'll... Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if we can there, go, and then you can we'll, go past we'll, Orsi. He's not Pavat, moving. Pavat, can we can can Pavat stay between Dags and Morzod? That's the intention here. If you guys yeah, want to be in front of the dragon, you need to be in front of Orsi because he's not going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front yeah, of the I'm... dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dags we'll and Morzod are that. basically yeah. You need to be like here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna yeah. Yeah, you guys gonna, gonna move. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm, just, I'm waiting for Pavat to be drag dropped because I don't think I should go past him. There we go. Dags hey. is going to stand beside Vatericus just because she's concerned about him getting super murdered. Uh, well, she is not going to face a dragon in case of shenanigans. Mm. That's fair. And the dragon says, There you are. Little elf, come forward. Let us speak. Um, yeah, Mozart, Mozart frog marches him forward a bit. Okay. Definitely meat shield. Uh, Formation, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, the dragon says, Closer, just you. Yeah. At this point, Pavat seems no. <laughs> disinclined to go further forward. Yeah, valid man. Mozart yes. kind of glances, glances at Viddy. Like, should I, should I just shove him in the back, Viddy? Is that actually a dragon, though? Yeah, no, there is there actually is a dragon there. Dragon there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big pretty dragon. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that, no way. Uh, I'm just quietly going to... I'm going to grab Pavat by the shoulder as Morzod is still sort of frog-marching him and, and just sort of whisper in his ear, should have worked with me, and I'm going to push him forwards. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, and Sorry. we're going... Just stumbling step forward. Yep, yeah, he, he does. He is... Uh, because... He's already essentially grappled by Morzod. Uh, you don't need to make a roll for this for Terracus. Oh, and he God. ends up falling basically <laughs> face forward. At which point the white dragon just opens its mouth and breathes a cone of freezing cold air. Door. Big step and... backwards. <laughs> yep. Yeah, do we have uh, a dodge? It, it is not coming towards all of you. It seems that the dragon... It's just for him. You don't really have time to actually re react, but the good yeah. news is it seems that you are not the target. <laughs> in uh, in Aetolia, there's a uh, an emote called Cabal Step, where you take the um, uh, regulatory uh, large step backwards, and I like to imagine that we've all got into that. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, volunteer someone by just stepping backwards. <laughs> the the O H and S uh, okay. backstep. Pavet fails his constitution save, oh, and so you. you see as he starts to pick himself up, and he looks like he is about to bolt to just try and run through. This uh, freezing cold air blows over him, and uh, as the condensation clears and your vision clears, you now see. He is still in that position of, I'm about to get out of here, but he is now frozen solid. Oh. Oh, um, And the dragon... Dad's is going to do a light puller. <laughs> the dragon looks at the rest of you and says, I tired of him. Who nah. doesn't? I'll ask again. Are you thieves, assassins, or liberators? Well, he's actually, uh, word. what's that word? What's that word for when you're finding out about stuff? We're detectives. That's the one. That's the word. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. We're just looking for a guy. We, we thought he might be down here. He we didn't know you were down here. And I guess probably that explains what happened to him. A yeah, guy. it seems like he might, might, might be... Here forever now, uh, I guess. We were, An orc, we was... your magnificence. Um, Walk in a waistcoat? Uh, the dragon turns its head towards this little alcove behind it. Oh, uh, collection. In which Fuck. you see uh, only one humanoid figure, uh, but it is indeed an orc encased in ice. 
Oh, that's him. He owes us money. Oh. So that looks that looks like him, yeah. Seems like he was also trying to take your money. Give me so we're good. Uh give me a perception check, please. Um Morzod. And okay. I any- still got my magic lit up, by the way. Is anything really jumping out at me as particularly magic apart from, you know, the dragon? There are items in the horde that the dragon stands on that are right. definitely right. that, magical. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Uh, perception was what we were rolling, wasn't it? Uh, yes, please. Um, and actually, Dagmar and Viterricus, because you're you're all sort of glancing in that direction, I assume. Also, That's a 13. Or is still hiding, of course. Viterricus! I do feel like we are all 30 probably... on the perception check for Viterricus, thank you. 30? Mm-hmm. 30. Oh, well, he's in Jesus! Everything's coming up, Viti. Mm-hmm. Too many crickets. Viterricus. Um, Dag's got 23. Yeah, That's only Viterricus can see this clearly enough from where he is. So you can see that, yes, this is an orc encased in ice, but you can just make out that the orc's throat has been slit. <gasps> um, but only a little bit of blood has come out. Uh, so you think this orc did not die by freezing. Your eminence, um... I suspect Pavat killed this orc? Um, and the dragon says, uh, The elf brought this creature and slew it before I had a chance to ask it whether it would help me in his stead. Ah, I see. That's real rotten. He used you. Yeah, he's a huge jerk. He has a real reputation for it back where we've been. I am becoming accustomed to being used. That ain't nice. No, that's a shame. Introductions are in order. I am Imradonil the White. I have been imprisoned here for longer than I know. A great madness overtook the world and I woke to find myself encased in stone. I slept, I slept and I slept until a human found me. They had tunneled their way into this place. They proposed a deal. They offered to help free me from this prison in exchange for coin. She claimed the coin was needed to secure my escape. But time passed. I saw this mare become rich and fat and old. And then they stopped coming. And then I slept again. If it makes again. you feel better, she was super yep. murdered. Interrupt the white dragon. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and the dragon says, And then this elf came and explained the emptying of the town above and then proceeded to make the same promises I had been given before. He took gold and promised my release and provided food as the mayor had done before him. And still he chose, it seems, to betray me. Oh, he really was a git. He was a huge git. Yeah. I didn't even think that he was that much of a git, but that's rotten. And yeah, s- that's just annoying, not like evil. And so one more time I ask, are you here as thieves, assassins, or liberators? I mean, I guess if we got to make a choice for one of those three, it's not the first two. Yeah, no, um, yeah. I guess technically the third one, we help people pretty often. Yes, your eminence, we came here as none of those things, but there is opportunity to become 
one or the other. I mean, we came to liberate the orc, but he's dead. So, I mean, we could hmm. this is true. liberate you. What was the dragon's name again? Sorry, Imeraldon? Uh, Imra? Imra Hill? Imradonil. That's I-M-R-A-D-O-N-I-L. Will he respond well to sir? I mean, he's going, he's, he seems to like your eminence. Yeah, he's, your he eminence. doesn't seem to be objecting to that. Your magnificence, your frozen powerful. Bilbo taught us that you should just flatter the fuck out of dragons. <laughs> your uh, wonderful scaliness, sir. Your yeah. iridescent prettiness. Oh. Your tremendously horniness. No, wait. Yeah. Horned. Horned. You are a bard, so. <laughs> Uh, Did to seduce the dragon? the dragon? Yeah. Yeah, no, please no. And, and the dragon says, I have tired of promises and deals. I will oh, yeah, say this. I will not part with a part of my hoard for a guarantee of favours to come. But if you free me, you will then have it all. Like, do we just need to blast a hole big enough to get you out? Uh, the dragon says, if it is within your power, that will do. I mean, I've never blown anything up before, but that could be fun. It's true. Uh, your Magnificence, may we investigate this chamber? Um... The dragon says, if you must. Thank you. Uh, anything interesting? Any like uh, like the, the little hobby nook in the corner that has the orc? Uh, does that lead anywhere? Uh, no. It is uh, obviously... The sewing corner. He's got yeah, little minis. It is... I was going to say, it's got orcs and gunpla. Uh, yeah. It appears <laughs> to essentially be a larder uh, with yep. an orc in it. Um it's possible it might have contained other beings in the past, but they might have been consumed. Oh, he's snacky. Makes sense. Um, and as you look at the hoard that is both above and below the ice that the dragon is on, mm -hmm. uh, you will see uh, a lot of gold coins. There are also uh, some gems, gemstones. Um, and... Give me a just a perception check, because um, you're not thoroughly searching the hoard. Right. This is just to see what you notice as you walk past. Sixteen. Sixteen. That is enough. You see, uh, oddly enough, there seems to be a broom down oh. there. Oh. What fun. Um, Dragon's got a maid fetish. We've never met anyone <laughs> who's a... Dragon specialist, have we? Uh, not that I'm trying to think none of, of no. none of us would really know too much about dragons. This is like no. the first dragony thing that has ever happened to us in Dungeons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, right. The first We're in a dragon. dungeon with a dragon. It's yeah. <laughs> like what? Hang on. So, wait, where's that picture of uh, DiCaprio going? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, the dungeon Aussie with a dragon. Is, Aussie is very quietly just gonna make his way further back down the hallway. Okay. Oh. Um. Can he please send a message to uh, Roxasa? Uh, yeah, sure. The librarian gnome? Yeah. Um, okay, so he's going to say, uh, Desperate situation. Do you have any information on a white dragon named Imrandanil? Imradanil. Imradanil. Im yes. Imradanil. Um, Serious situation. Please help. <laughs> Message me back. XOXO. Or, XO. yeah. <laughs> or white dragons in general. That's all it's 25 in, letters. It's succinctly in 25 words. Okay. Yeah, no, I did it. I did it. Uh, you'll get a message back and it'll go uh, that there was a short pause and then the message will say uh, white dragons are greedy. Vain, the least intelligent of their kind. 
not to be yeah but the dumbest dragon is still smarter than the smartest person so not to be trusted (laughs) and extremely dangerous thanks she didn't find anything Um, about uh uh, she she will add specific dragon unknown okay um, yeah, while they are investigating the room, Dagmar is going to try and convey with a an eye look to Viterogus, um, if we free this dragon, will it kill everybody? The very Probably slightest. just big doubt. There's just going to be a very doubtful eye. Yeah. Yeah, I will respond with equal amounts of doubt. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to use my last mm. third level spell. Send a message to uh, the Terracus. Just be like, greedy, vain, don't trust them. I don't know this white dragon, but it's not going to end well if we get rid of this thing. Free her. The response, the response is me or the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if it wouldn't give away his position, you hear a really exasperated sigh from somewhere down the tunnel. <laughs> probably lock size with you or something yeah yeah yeah. there'll there'll be a there'll be a quiet but thank you somewhere in there um all right so in that case then i might fix dagmar with a slightly more uh or less confused look uh and just be like like a more concerned look or like a yeah like a I, Very I, good. I will point out that Viddy can probably tell, um, but you wouldn't even like really need perception for this. Morzod is kind of taken by the sob story and left to his own devices, probably would just free the shit out of the dragon and not take anything. So you may need to stop him from being altruistic. <laughs> At the moment, he's holding his ground because nobody who's got the brains has told him to do anything. Did anybody insight check the dragon? Maybe it's a nice white dragon. Maybe I will. Uh, as, uh, as, as I sort of finish up my investigations, I'm going to sort of step in front of the dragon again and say, your frigid eminence. Uh, we require a moment to confer to determine the best way to potentially free you. May we step outside to examine the outside of your cage and uh, discuss? We have not taken anything. We do not intend to take anything until services are rendered. Uh, the dragon says, um, I tire of promises. One of you will remain. Oh, shit. Of course, but your eminence, we have made no promises yet. We have agreed to investigate for you and we are doing so. Just... Then we shall make promises based on what we can achieve for you rather than give you more false promises. Also, well, can't you detect good and evil? Is it a good dragon or an evil dragon? <laughs> That's so subjective. I wouldn't even cast that just and, from a player principle. Um, as, as, as more than concerned, the dragon, all dragons are good boys. The dragon exactly. hears, hears an elf shouting, "You know, can't you detect evil? Is a good evil, evil dragon? Good or evil dragon?" And the dragon is just trying to encourage him to do magic. And the dragon responds, um, uh, "I would be considered evil by many of your kind, but." Does the lamb think the butcher evil? Does the butcher even care? Does it matter? I care not what you think of me. I merely wish to be freed from this place. I mean, ten minutes ago, we didn't even know you were down here, poor lad. Of course, your majesty. Uh, Let us examine the outside of your cage to see what we can do for you. Nobody leaves. We shall not go upstairs. Nobody leaves. I will not say it again. Of course, I'm going to step back to where Morzod and Dagmar are. Uh, And... The time to kick this off? I feel like it's time to kick this off. (laughs) I can't believe I gave my immovable rod away to a god for a mirror. (laughs) (laughs) 
a oh, mirror yeah, worth a thousand have... gold. You open it inside a dragon's stomach and you can do all sorts of fun things. Oh, rip. You've been waiting for this for so long. A year. You've been waiting for this for a year. And you it gave didn't... it away two weeks before we met a dragon. To be fair, it, mirror. Di it, didn't it did get... come in handy. To be fair, in Critical Role, it didn't actually achieve much. It was mm. very funny. No, but though. I want to do it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Your Eminence, we can absolutely stay here with you. But we will all stay here forever. And the dragon says, and so be it. You can feed so me annoying. if you do not free me. Uh, then you'd be stuck in here again until someone comes down to double cross you again. I will take no more promises, no more guarantees. I will be freed or I will die. That is really dramatic. Yeah, that's right. that's that's pretty much the two options, isn't it? So should we just like run or shoot something? Can I step to here without the dragon, like respectfully, of course, without the dragon doing anything? Um, Does it look like with the a continued fawning and going? Of course, your eminence. As we you stay here with you and discover a yeah. As you step forward, forward, you see it sort of leans its snout in towards you and gives you a sniff. Perfect. Uh, as soon as it's within five feet of me, I'm going to say, guys, are we fighting the dragon or not? Uh, upon hearing that, can also come around the corner and... say that, and my two gold gets shuffled into the deck again, and the dragon forgets <laughs> I said it. <laughs> That's such a dangerous spell for you to have. And <laughs> that is where we're going to take a short break. <laughs> um, well! <laughs> and uh, we will be back in just a moment to see whether they are fighting a dragon or not. Uh, don't go anywhere. And we are back. Our heroes have come face to face with a white dragon. Uh, in an underground lair where it seems to have been trapped for some eight centuries since the Cataclysm. They have parlayed with the dragon after it uh, removed the problem of Pevat, the lover boy, fr from the situation. Um, and they have reached a situation where the dragon is insisting uh, that they free it or kill it, essentially. <clears throat> and it will not let them leave without resolution as it is tired of waiting for people to come back. And just before the break, Vitericus the soothsayer uh, said, uh, I walked up to the dragon and then said to the team, so uh, guys, are we killing this dragon? Um, and Vitericus then went to cast a spell that will uh, cause the dragon to, and everybody else to forget what was just spoken. However, first, I will need Vitericus to roll initiative to see whether the dragon has a chance to do something before Vitericus then casts this spell. Counter spell, but you're a white dragon. You're going to get eaten. Oh, no. He thought he was very... Did he freeze or is he panicking? I don't know. Did he freeze? Oh, my God. The white dragon froze him. <laughs> oh, my God. The white dragon froze <laughs> him. The white dragon already froze him. Oh no! We've lost Doug again. Perfect timing. It's okay. He'll hot spot. He'll hot spot back in. Uh, we are back uh, after another technical difficulty. Uh, Doug is back as well. Um, so Doug, I just ask you to roll initiative to see whether the dragon gets to do something before you cast that spell. Wonderful. Uh, let me just let D and D Beyond load back in again because that's. Okay, uh, I'm wearing the belt, so I get initiative. Uh, sorry, I get advantage on the roll. So that is a 21. Ooh. Oh, that's really, wow. Hey, that is good yeah, enough. Nice work. You beat the dragon 17. Wow. Um, yes, yeah, so you do manage to get the spell off before the dragon can respond. <laughs> Wonderful. All, so right, all the dragon remembers we, is, I we... did not mean to say that. And everybody else now has the question, <laughs> so we fight the dragon or what? In which Ringing case, Elsie will be coming around the corner and casting Storm Sphere. Are we rolling initiative? Well, it sounds like we are, with Orsi casting an, an aggressive spell. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm do going I cast to cast a spell as a oh, round, have to, surprise have round, to or do I have to? Have to initiate Actually, I'll initiative. leave. I'll leave the body of Pavat there. Can be an obstacle for this battle. Um, oh, but fine. I'll select you all. <laughs> Tagmar would like to shelter behind the cold corpse of her annoying enemy. Please go. That is now difficult terrain. Yes, and I mean... on that note, you're all standing on difficult terrain. You can only move half speed if you don't want to make any skill checks to stop yourself from falling over. Uh, am I rolling new initiative? Yes, new initiative. Um... Okay. Dagmar, don't forget to roll initiative. Cool, that's a Thank 21 you. again. Good grief. I'm just going to sit on the same issue. That's right, torch. because you... I will enter this manually. Because I have, yeah, I have yep. advantage, and the forge is not as good at that as perhaps uh, it could be. Done. Gotcha. Cool. Wow, uh, not having that belt is making me go last for, like, the first time in months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Fine with that. Vitericus, uh, you are toe-to-toe -to -toe yes. with a dragon. Um, you have just seen or heard, uh, Orsi coming around about to cast and, uh, what you are fairly certain is aggressive spell. So you are now fairly certain mm -hmm. that, uh, the plan is to kill this dragon. It yeah, is going I think, down. uh, I got my answer. I saw Orsi come around the corner. I'm like, all right, well, we're doing this. Uh, in which case then I am going to shuffle my Taroka deck and see what I draw. <laughs> oh, we Final Fantasy 14 up in. Uh, wonderful. We're doing some Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah. <laughs> Send him to the Shadow uh, Realm. All right. Why are you laughing? So, uh, <laughs> it could I... be very good or very bad. <laughs> very bad. Yeah. It I'm could stressed. be. Um, so I flick through the Taroka deck and I pull the Miser out. Oh. Uh, and as I pull the Miser from the deck, someone who hoards wealth, uh, ah. my eyes turn slightly silvery and I briefly forget that I am Vitericus. I am now Ofo the Molten, Mighty Red Dragon, uh, and <laughs> I, red spew, dragon. I spew fire from my mouth in a 30-foot cone. Oh, Holy wow. Holy ever-loving fuck. <laughs> is it really? It's We've this got a so dragon. Funny. We've got Vinny. Um, the mental image a... of you, like, shuffling through a deck next to a dragon. Yeah, like, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, with a roll like that, with a shuffle like that, he just rule of cool Yu-Gi-Oh'd freaking. Yeah, just pulled it from the top. Yeah, you need one of the Yu-Gi-Oh like arm like. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely, and he he does the thing where it's like between the two fingers, he's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so can uh, Imradnil the White make a Dex saving throw, please? Dex saving throw. Uh, it's a total of twenty-four. Hmm. Um. Tell you what, roll it again. I'm going to silvery barbs you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a 12. Oh. That's a fail. Uh, and I now have advantage on my next advantage, uh, attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Jesus. Uh, so, uh, can you please take 4d10 fire damage? Woohoo! Four rolls what? of my bardic nice. inspiration die in damage. There's a couple of big numbers in there. 24 fire damage. 24. To Good God! Vitericus is having his like Gandalf the White moment. Yeah, except we should except, just leave the fight to him. Except he's red and Christopher <laughs> Lee is not happy. Oh. Yes, so like a silvery dragon's head sort of replaces mine briefly, spews fire, and then fades, and I'm back. And I'm like, ha! Huh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> cool. Dagmar is going to look to Morza and be like, did we know he could do that? Yeah, Morza makes the eye contact as well, like, Jesus, wept. <laughs> Anything else on your turn, Vitaric? No, that's my bonus action, my action, and my reaction all gone. Okay. <laughs> At the <laughs> end of your turn, uh -oh. uh, the white dragon opens its wings up wide and beats it. them hard. Oh. Every creature within... Well, that's only Vitericus. Um, Give me a dexterity <laughs> saving throw, please. Vitericus? Slides backwards off the map. Zwee! Uh, with the advantage from my silvery barbs, that is a 22. 22, okay. Jesus Killing it, man. Jeez, you're the tank now. I love these numbers. Yeah, I'm going to stop no. calling you squishy. Uh, you are fine. You are oh, not, not Mr. prone. AC. You do not take damage. Um, but the dragon uh, 
is going to lift into the air and no, it's going to go there. Yeah. How high is the ceiling in here, by the way? It is about 20 feet high. I'm glad you asked that. I am very glad you asked that. Got uh, an anecdote about a frost giant in a very small room. Orsi, um, it is your turn. <laughs> did the fire damage do extra damage or was it just normal? Um, oh, did he melt a bit? I will say it, di uh, it did not do any extra damage. Oh, it it did... I but it did damage. He's not. He's not made of ice. But he's not no, vulnerable. I don't believe but there, it does not appear to be damage. vulnerable to fire damage. Yep. Cool. Okay. I finally get to use storm sphere. Go, Orsi! <laughs> yeah, hey. Mess him up. I'm gonna cast storm sphere. Uh, has a range of 150 feet, so I should be fine. Well it within range. Yep. So. A 20-foot radius sphere of whirling air springs into existence centered on a point. So I will center that on the wagon. Mm -hmm. um, can I have a measure? It's that 20, it's 20. Wow, it's big. Oh, it's big. Jericho, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> He'll be fine. Um, so he's probably going to make this. So he's got to make a strength saving throw. Yep, dragons, well known sure, for be being fine. physically weak. <laughs> this guy's been down here for Are 800 years me? eating orcs. Yes. Oh, what did he get? Got him. <laughs> it rolled a two. Yeah. For, yeah. for a total of eight. That. Oh, that's funny. He, so he takes out. Yeah, take that. Just two, in a while. 2d6 bludgeoning damage. I'll roll that. That's a four. So take that. Done. Uh, the sphere's terrain is difficult terrain, but it's already difficult terrain. Mm. And well, until hang the on. spell ends... Oh, uh, it is now difficult line. terrain for the dragon as well. Uh, oh, yeah. there we go. Because ice, oh, it's his lair. ice doesn't trouble it. Yeah. Right. So now it's difficult terrain. The sphere's space is difficult terrain, so that entire 20-foot radius is difficult terrain. Including everyone's for... Everyone's having a bad time. Now everyone's having a bad day. Um, and then until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action of each of your turns to cause a bolt of lightning to leap from the center towards one creature you choose within 60 feet of the center. So, I suppose on this turn, I can use my bonus action to hit it with a lightning bolt. Yeah, if you've not used it already. Yeah, I haven't used my bonus action yet, so let's do it. That is, let me just double check that, 4d6 lightning. Whew. There's no save, no um, attack roll. Oh, let me let me double check. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I never get to use a spell. Make a ranged spell attack. Yeah. So I will make a ranged spell attack. I got an eighteen. Hey. Eighteen, 18 hits. Misses? Eighteen oh, hits. Oh my god. Forty six. And every one I count as a two, so that's two. So 16, 17 points of lightning damage. 17 points of lightning damage. So the base, basically the entire cave is now a storm. Nice. Cool. And a little We've melted. got some uh, vibes happening in here. Yeah. It's thematic in here now. So, yeah, it's fire. And then... Um, Storm and then lightning and uh, yes, this white dragon is just wham 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 uh, in very quick uh, succession and suddenly regretting his words perhaps a little bit. Anything else in your to. turn, Orsi? You've yes, he's just gonna pop you, around the corner. You've moved. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of Orsi's turn, um, the dragon is just going to spin around and. Try to whack Vitericus with its tail, and it rolls a natural 20. Uh-oh. Does oh. the difficult terrain affect that at all? And that's any movement. Uh, it does not. No. Uh, so... Sorry, I tried. All right, I'm still a squishy bard. It's fine. No, squishy. He punches out all your blood. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, with the crit, it's uh, not a great roll, so that's going to be only 20 points of bludgeoning damage. To Vitericus okay. as this no, thing that's, swings that's around so and slams you from the side. Yep. Cool. And 
it is now the dragon's turn. Mm-hmm. Um, as the dragon spins around and then settles back into place, it crouches down and its mouth opens and it br- uh, breathes. Nope, first of all. I Quick, need... throw a bomb in its mouth while it's open! I need everyone I within reaction. 120 feet, which is either one who is aware of the dragon, you don't need line of sight. You've uh, got a grenade in your trousers, do it! Please make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, it's my worst one! Is that me? Gonna... Am I doing a wisdom saving yeah, throw? That is all of you. Alright, okay, cool. Uh, 12. 9. That's a cool 25! Oh, my wisdom save is good, but I rolled a 5! 11! I got a plus six, god damn it. Oh Christ, these dice that you got me are musical. <laughs> are we all I mean, it, frightened it rolled, now? It What's rolled, happening? It rolled well, so I, I'm probably fine unless yeah. 25 isn't enough. Uh, Vitericus? I rolled a 12, sorry. Okay. Uh, everyone except Morzod is now frightened of this dragon. Yeah. With good cause, I would say. Yeah. I feel Ballad. like I was probably there before. It's a shame that now it's official. First. Um, <laughs> what happens when sure, we're frightened? So frightened? Just make sure you don't have any magic items that make you immune to frighten. Just double check. Yeah, or any condi- racial conditions, traits, anything like that. Uh, frightened means you have disadvantage on any attacks made against the creature, and you can't approach it. You can't go any closer to it. Bugger. All right. Um, but you. But at the end of your turns, you'll have opportunities to try and make another save. That worked so well at the Blood Lake. <laughs> okay. Well, you were having a good time. It's fine. And now it is uh, going to crouch down, open its mouth, and let out a cone of icy cold air. So that mm-hmm. is a 60 foot cone. Uh, Orsi is protected, but it gets the rest of you. Oh, we're all gonna uh, die. Now, where, uh, are we in the lee of um, Pretty Boy there? Of that? Uh, yeah. No, it would it would hit all creatures within that okay. cone. Yeah. Right. That's right. not going to save you. Yeah. So basically, Pavat's just going to take some more damage, even all though right. he's already dead. Right. Is he uh, dead, dead? I'll get him. Oh, he's, yeah. He's dead. He's dead Being dead. frozen, uh, I'll get him. flash frozen kills you. This is not a video game. <laughs> he's Boris in he's one, of, he's one of those astronaut bars? Like the, the, the ice cream with the... No, never mind. <laughs> Fro- not deep fried. Freeze dried. Yeah, freeze so, dried. Invincible. Vitericus, Dagmar, I and Morzod. Uh, I, from the three of you, I need constitution saving throws, please. Con save. I can convince you to make it a dex one. Nope. <laughs> not for cold. 18. That's a seven. Okay, uh, you all fail. The DC wow. was, DC was nineteen. <laughs> oh, rip! So you all take fifty nine points of cold damage. <gasps> oh, I'm down. Wow. And he's not dead, but he's not well. <laughs> oh my god! Why did we attack a dragon? What was it? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. Christ, I don't even have 59 hurting. hit points. <laughs> so um, I feel like we should change our approach and run. <laughs> so how is everybody? Uh, uh concerned. Is I'm any unconscious? Vitericus is incapacitated. What about the rest of mm-hmm. you? Yeah. I'm fine. I've got 15 hit points. Okay. I've got 20. Okay, so you're both still on your feet. Mm. Um Right, and that is the, that is not the dragon's turn, because it can still move, and it is going to basically just fly over the um, incapacitated corpse of Vitericus and go toe-to-toe with Dagmar and Morzod, and that is the end of the dragon's turn. So, Morzod. Oh. What do you do? Christ. Jesus fucking wept. Um. Okay. Your best, Tom. Uh, <laughs> You're going to do your best. I will <laughs> say, um, as you're looking at the dragon, 
Uh, you think it's actually been hurt a lot by the initial attacks, possibly because he was already a bit weak from lack of food coming into this. It's not it's not at death's door, but it is bloodied in D and D terms, which basically means below half health. Okay, so. The things that I was planning, and I don't know if I can do both, so, I, so I'm asking you guys. We can workshop um, it. Yeah, yeah, because I've got no fucking idea how to cleric still. It's your first dragon fight. It's scary. It's that too. Um, so what I was wanting to drop <laughs> was, was actually a third level motivational speech, because that gives everyone five temp hit points and will save bonuses. A uh, wisdom save <laughs> bonuses, sorry. That's so sweet. Yeah, that's that. That was like the first things, and so like the... I believe motivational speech does have a one minute casting time, and each round is six seconds. Oh uh, yeah, okay. All right, so, so that does. But but it's in. You can why start they casting list, it. Why, yeah, why do they <laughs> list it in combat if it takes that long? Like, I mean, sometimes still combat do really do be going that long. Yeah. 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 Just standing right. in the middle, being like four score and seven years. Yeah, so something exactly. like so something your best bet might be something like I'm not gonna tell you how to cleric, do what you want, like a mass cure wounds or a oh, I I suppose bow. yeah, no, I do definitely have um well there's prayer of healing, but that's ten minutes, isn't it? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, mass cure wounds would be you know, if yeah, you want I've got, I've if got you, that one. If you want Vinny back on his feet. Oh, casting is one action. All right. Yeah, All right. An action yeah. is instant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so can I do that one and drop the spiritual folding chair as my bonus action? Is is can I do that? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. And I believe spiritual folding chair is. Uh... I can choose what level to drop that at too. That's and right, and it's, a... I keep forgetting it's not a concentration spell. I keep thinking, no, why is it, it not just, a concentration? Anyway, um, it's that means... Holy, it's my holy magic. chair. Um, just for the record, it means that your detect magic is still up. Just assuming you survive this fight, you know, it might still be available to you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, other good like spell choices in general are things like freedom of movement, um, spirit guardians, anything that's going to help you in a small area, and then freedom of movement helps people ignore difficult terrain and stuff like that. But, so. uh, Morzon, please roll that healing. Um, yeah, yes, so... Please. Just, <laughs> just click the 3d8 um, plus 12. So, mass cure wounds, um, now... Uh, okay, so it is only in 5th level. Cool. All right. Um, Do you so auto-max because you're a life cleric? Yep. Uh, and you also get extra healing on top of that because you're a life cleric. So do I need to roll it then? Yep. Oh, wait. Sorry. You get max healing. So whatever the max healing is of 3d8 or whatever it is. 3d8 yeah, so so plus three 12. Aces. I can't yeah. do math. <laughs> uh, 2 uh, aces, 16. 20, 36. Aces, yeah, 36. Yeah. Okay, and then so you get an extra 2 HP plus the spell's level, I believe. Equal to... Yeah, Plus I get that. Level. That's yeah. back on me. Do you guys get that as well, or is it just me that gets so that? So this is one? your Disciple of Life. Whenever you use a spell of first level or higher to restore HP, the creatures regain additional HP equal to 2 plus the spell's level. Okay, so... So the spell's level is 5, five so, an so that's an extra seven, 7 healing right. on top of whatever you got. Yeah, where, so... Where in that description does it say about getting max healing? Uh, I believe that's life domain. Features and yeah, traits. That's being a life cleric. Disciple okay. of life. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't cleric either. I, am... I also don't cleric very often. I will check. I've got no fucking idea. I've before. <laughs> oh, I don't think you do get max. No, I mm. think you might no, have a spell that would let that happen. Mm. But. But I don't have that cast or anything. Yeah, so you don't and get you max. And you also so have you... your channel divinities, don't forget to. Yep. Mm. Uh, so please do roll how much healing you give out. Yeah, what is channel channel divinity is 45 hit points shared between everyone. That's a whole action though, I think. Yeah, it's an action. So, yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that one in my back pocket. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to come down here to mass cure wounds, which only crops up at level 5, so that's the one that I click. 27. That's that's not bad. That's pretty good. Is that plus the additional 7? It's uh, No, no yeah. not plus the additional 7. So 34 total. 
34 health back for everyone, and then a further... Uh, do, does it stack with the, because you're a cleric of life, you get healing when you heal everyone else? Like, uh, get yes. Extra, extra? So, so you'd still get your extra healing. Yeah, yeah so you get cool. Disciple of Life, which gives everyone else the extra seven, and then you also have Blessed Healer, which you yeah. regain HP equal to two plus the spell. So you get seven Yeah, HP so I get well. an extra seven, so 27 yeah. plus 14 for me, um, which is 39? I can't uh, do math. Twenty. Uh, how much? Twenty-seven plus. God, wait. I have a degree in this shit. Twenty-seven plus seven plus whatever you get. So what do you get? Sorry, 27, just you. Twenty-seven plus seven plus seven. So twenty-seven plus 41? fourteen. Yeah. Plus yeah. seven yeah. plus seven. Forty-one. Forty-one health yeah. back for me, and yeah. And then you also have your second wind too, as a fighter. Don't forget. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's available to you. Mm. Um, and actually, because I've got the level in fighter and I picked uh, intercepty fighter, um, with with uh, dags there nearby, um, there's a reaction thingy in there that happens to yeah, reduce so the damage. Use... Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think that works for like magic cones. Uh, no, I don't think it would. No, no. Also, um, so. I, because of my skirmisher feet, I actually can move up to half of my speed, which I guess is reduced even more on difficult terrain, um, if an enemy ends its turn within five feet of me. So I can, yeah. like, budge away as a reaction without provoking Oh, attack opportunity. Attack nice. Opportunity. nice. So um, can I just uh, retroactively use sure. that quickly? Yep. Mm. Um, um, five feet or ten feet, do you think, on difficult terrain? I can move up to half... I can move up to 15 feet on normal terrain. Uh, we'll say... We'll make it 10 feet. Yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I'm spiritual... behind Morzod. <laughs> Dropping the spiritual folding chair, do I get to roll the damage in the first turn? I don't, don't know if I do or not. No, I think you summon no. it on the first turn yeah, and then you okay. command yeah, it on your second yeah. turn. Bonus and, don't and, um, and don't forget you have... And don't forget you have Divine Strike too. I don't know if the spiritual folding chair counts as a weapon attack, but... So have I have I used up all the things I had the action for the spell <laughs> yep. and the bonus action for bonus the action. chair and that's mm -hmm. all the things but I've got. You've still got uh, second wind. Y if you uh, want to do second you wind, you can. To. If you want to heal some more, uh, w um, uh, you can regain an extra one d ten plus one HP. Where is that at? I'm it's so lost. Hiding somewhere in your fighter stuff. So yeah. class features at the very bottom it should be. Yep, second win, you can use a bonus action to oh, it's regain a bonus HP. Action. Oh, you've already used a bonus chair. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And plus so you still have your, you and still have your just, movement? And plus it's just for my health. Yeah. Yes, so if you wanted yeah. to make yourself a bit healthier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, do yeah. need you to stay alive. Yeah, that's Please. true. Please do. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's all of them. I, I can't juke back without getting uh, an attack of opportunity, can I? Because he's enormous. Yeah. So yeah, Mozart's just going to stand his ground then. Okay. At the end of Morzod's turn, the dragon is going to make another tail attack on Fatericus, who is um, currently yep. conscious again, just, but prone. Just in it. Just uh -oh. really in it. Turns this, right. this. I'll save you. Dragon. Yes. Uh oh, busy flipping through my cards again. Come on, give me a good one. Give me a good one. On the ground, furiously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cards go everywhere. It hits. Uh, you pick up. A 19, I assume, hits for Terracus's. That will indeed hit me yep. uh, on the ground. Oh my god, squishy. Even if I'm standing up. Um, that <laughs> I was like, is... I would have just been like, but Terracus gets up and immediately smacked back down. <laughs> that is 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Well, that's alright, I'm still alive. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> nice. Dagmar. So you've just seen a lot. It's she's your turn. Not, she's not enjoying this. Jesus Christ. Don't like that. Um, we're just, we're just going to try and hit the uh, shoot the fucking thing, aren't we? Mm -hmm. With advantage. Um, so I, is it with advantage or disadvantage or am I still frightened? Does it even out? Uh, it will be actually, yes, it will be normal because it oh, is. As, oh, no, never mind. Go on. Oh, oh and fine. that <laughs> reminds me. Uh, Morzod. I fear here. Morzod, please roll uh, wisdom saving throw. Well, again, no. Uh, no, no this were, is okay. This is because you were technically frightened and you have a chance yeah. to snap out of it. Why was I frightened? Didn't I he pass? Rolled... 
I rolled a 25. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Sorry, yeah. my mistake. The rest of us are like, oh, dragon. Yep. Yeah, dragon. And, Mo and Mozart's right. like, eh, dragon. Okay, Dagmar, go <laughs> ahead. Mozart's like, I trusted you. I was taken in by your sob story, you great git bag. <laughs> I was going to let you out and kill everyone. Well, uh, I was going to do that. Roll. So what, uh, what am I rolling? Oh. You're rolling. No, oh. this is Dagmar. No, I'm rolling. Yep. That was a 13, which I guess misses. Ooh, yeah, that misses, I'm afraid. How could then you I miss? Like He's like take... three feet in front of you. He's three feet in front of me, and I have plus 11. Um, Jesus. But uh, I'm going to take a bonus action to fucking hide. <laughs> Is that what it's actually called? In yeah. <laughs> bonus yes. action, it's fucking hide. I imagine that's spelled... Hide, but I've added. F-U-K-K-E-N. Fucking yes. hide. I, I roll fucking hide. I don't uh, think I have to roll. I just hide. Do I yeah. have to move for that, or is it, am I just hidden? Uh, you, you need to... I would say you need to actually hide behind something. We left Dags right here. <laughs> can I go around this corner? You certainly can, yep. Yep, go on past Aussie there. Yep, Welcome! And That's half my speed. <laughs> you can uh, now roll a wisdom saving throw. Hooray. Wisdom! That is a... That's a one. Uh, Doug, wow. these dice you gave me a shit. <laughs> Sorry. Change uh, dice. Change dice. He got you... me beautiful digital dice, and they're fucking terrible. So change it. You are still frightened of this dragon. Um, I'm sorry you're going to have to find some way to roleplay that. That's uh, so justified, though. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be hard to do while I'm cowering in the corner of this <laughs> icy corridor behind the delicate elf. I was going to say, the fun part is you can't move closer to the dragon now, so oh, fuck. That's you're just fine. around that corner shit, forever. Okay. going to hang out, man. Vitericus, uh, you are on the ground, uh, and but you are conscious again. Yep, I am indeed going to flick through my cards as I stand up. And we're going to see what story the ghosts have for me today. What fun! It's another ten. Uh, and so, once again, I am possessed by the spirit of Ofo the Molten, uh, and I'm going to spew fire at this fucking dragon. Uh, I'm also going to... This cloaca get... is toasty! Right. Uh, can I move... How far can I move? I can only move 30, so did we say 10? Uh, I'm spending 15. Half my it's to get up it's half then... if you're moving carefully. But I'm spending half to get up as well, so... Ah, uh, be... yeah. So we'll make it just five. Okay, cool. So I'll move to here then. Uh, and I'm going to burn the dragon, and I guess Pavat. Yeah, I don't think he's going to care. <laughs> um, he does kind so... of bad for Pavat. It's the a dragon. shame you don't have shades anymore. He's already right. an ice cream bar, it's fine. So, once again, Vitericus' eyes go silvery, and his head is sort of overwhelmed by the silvery outline of a red dragon's head. Fire spews from his mouth, and our white dragon friend has to make a dex save. That is 18. Is that with the floor being Silvery on, really? barbs. Go ahead and roll it again. Oh, difficult terrain doesn't affect okay. that. Oh, yeah, okay. Seven. Hey. Seven is insufficient. So <laughs> please go ahead and take fire damage equal to four rolls of my Bardic Inspiration die. It's going to be 4d10 damage again. Whew. Nice. Uh, that's a lot of high numbers. Uh, 23 damage this time. Okay. Get him, squishy bard. Fire. And, um, well, Pavat's going to obviously fail his deck saving throw, so um, as the fire comes out, uh, you can now see that part of Pavat has been thawed and his arm is now just burning. <laughs> um, but That's still right. rigid as the you know it is still frozen in its core but the outside has been thawed a bit mm. I bet that stinks that's mm -hmm. rough buddy uh anything else vitericus no i have used my movement my action my bonus action and my reaction so yeah. thank you and all his charisma <laughs> okay um were you frightened i think you were I was, oh, so yes. I will need to make a wisdom save also. Yes, please. That is the wisdom a plus 20. The... Oh, there you go. Success, success. You are no longer frightened of the dragon. I wouldn't be either after and, I just smoked his cloaca. And you are immune to its frightful presence for 24 hours. 
Wonderful. Take that. Uh, Orsi. Well, uh, first, first off. Um, oh. Sorry, end of Vitericus's turn. Dragon is going to take a legendary action. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, it is going to try and work out where Dagmar went. No, no. No, no. I mean, she's out of range, though. That doesn't really help it much. I'm so little. Don't it's eat me. Mm. It's, uh, I think I will need a stealth check from Dagmar, please. Mm. No! What about me? I'm also around the corner. It doesn't care about you. It knows where you uh. are. Oh, <laughs> fucking fuck. Okay, I've changed my dice. Let's uh, <laughs> pray for Dagmar. Come on, not 20, not 20, not 20. Don't say that. It's not a 14. 20. Pretty close. No, it rolled a total of 20 on its perception, so it knows where you are, Dagmar. That ain't going to do, do it much good. Uh, Orsi, it is now your turn. Because it's Orsi's turn. Uh, well, first off, bonus action lightning bolt from my storm sphere. No problem. That's a so that's... ranged spell attack. Yes, it Pretty is. Now. Pretty good. 19? That hits. Cool. 4d6. Uh, 14 points of lightning damage. Okay. Um, I can't move any closer to it, so... I don't really you know got, take you got, bludgeoning you got damage some... for being in the sphere still? You got something shooty? Oh, yeah, he's got to make a strength. I, I wonder if that's just at the start of the sphere. Let me check. Here, sphere. Each creature within the sphere, when it appears, or that ends its turn there, yes. Oh, so okay. So he's got to make a... Uh, oh, on the end of his turn, though. On the yeah, end of his so turn. Yeah, so should have already taken that. Retroactively, yeah. too. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so, two, save, yeah. so strength saving throw. Strength saving throw, which yeah. they're so bad at. <laughs> 13. Hey. Wow, okay. Two, two, two d6 bludgeoning damage, then. Okay, please roll. Are we, are we rolling the previous one? or That's this one. Ah. Uh. Because it's the end no, of the eight points. Spin, not start of all eight points of bludgeoning damage. So he has a yeah, little bit of a slip he's, and hits his had, jaw. He's had two turns in the sphere, though. You, so there's one. No, when those are just his like it. legendary. Yeah, those yeah, are just his the, the other actions that he can count? do. No, right. I don't believe. Yes. Yeah. yeah, just but his did, turn. Didn't he have a turn before though? Or, oh no, these are just no. things that he was doing. Yeah, that's just because. Okay. All right. Now I follow. Yeah. Dragon special. He's a badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, legend the the, <laughs> the legend horrible things. The legendary action economy is basically so that it's to balance out when you've got, you know, four creatures versus one creature, that you've got That's four fair. creatures who get to, you know, do lots of different things and normally the you know, the one creature would only have one chance to do something and mm -hmm. might even be dead by the time it gets to do something. So That's fair. I don't yeah. like it. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, uh, or see? I don't think I can. I can I see the tip of his snout? Uh, yeah, you you can see the dragon, just the edge. All right, it. I will try and hit him guy. with a lightning bolt. Okay. Uh, it's a dex save, please. Dex save. What? Is a oh, natural? No. <laughs> that is a natural one. Hooray! Zap it. Hot. Well, zappy in this case. That is 10d6 lightning damage. Nice. That's yeah. that's Imperial Guard level <laughs> dice. I... <laughs> <laughs> I've got the fuzzy dice and it just went... <laughs> uh, so 40... just casually leveled up in the last... Uh, right. So I treat ones as twos because I'm a lightning... Like a evocation savant with lightning adept. So 43 points of lightning damage. 40... Oh, this is like the Imperial Guard. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the snout. Um, Damage. <laughs> Just on the snows. That's why I said snout. that it didn't matter that it found out where Dags is. So this... <laughs> you booped the snoot. This you dragon gets snoot. struck by lightning from behind. Yeah. Um, and then an even more powerful bolt of lightning hits it in the face. And it just roars. Um, and uh, it is looking really rough. This dragon is hurt. Good. Uh, Orsi will shout out to finish it off, and then he's gonna... Burn him, burn him! 
run. Fucking yep. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. PPS on point. Out, out of the fucking fight. Um. Okay. Okay. Orsi, uh, wisdom save from from you, uh, please. Yes. Orsi's already oh. running. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, 18. 18. 18. He'll go there. That's enough. You are no longer frightened. Uh, well, no longer forced to be frightened of the dragon. <laughs> you can choose to be frightened. Um, I mean, I'm still pretty scared of the dragon, so. So, legendary action. The dragon is okay. going to... Uh oh uh, you're all spread out a bit, so it's just going to do another tail attack on Vatericus. You've taken it, buddy. You're just... saving the rest of us. I did just crisp its tail quite nicely, so that's fair. <laughs> uh, I think a 26 is going to hit you. Mm, just. Hang in there, King. <laughs> nah, this is it. <laughs> you take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, I'm alive. Yeah, but it's the dragon's turn, so cool. I'm dead. It is now the dragon's say, turn. We're beating up the dragon who's been stuck in a cave for eight hundred years. We're the best. Okay. We is he, is he going to go for the video, or I'm right in front of him? Um, the dragon turns or you know swings around to face Vatericus, and it just in doing so, it just um unintentionally just snaps Pavat's head off, which just rolls oh. on the ice. Oh, I thought we could maybe save him. Never mind. Not anymore. Um, and... Uh, we can stein him. Let there be Thank liches. All right. Uh, we could take We could take Hell's tiara. We could put the tiara on Pavat's head. Don't like doing it. Dungeon Master, we're putting the tiara on Pavat's head. Oh, oh my God. It, uh... <laughs> Bites you, Vitericus, oh, um, with a no. 23. Yeah, that hits. For... <laughs> we got to get you some armor of Agathus or something. Can't you steal spells? 12 points of uh, piercing damage. Well, I had three, so... Plus eight points of cold damage. Cool. Well, I am definitely out. Okay. I'm out cold. Um... <laughs> 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 That's how we know he's sick. His joke was so bad. Okay, I'm going to roll something that could be terrible. Uh -oh. Time to die. Time okay. To die. Um, good news. I don't want to meet his good old news. character. Good I decided. News. Okay. I decided to roll whether it decided to continue um, piling onto Vitericus or would yes. turn to face Morzod. It's decided. It's more concerned with dealing with Morzod at this point. Yeah, because I'm a healthy boy. So more come, come at me, bro. <laughs> um, so am I just like limp in the dragon's mouth now, or has it dropped me? It drops you. It bites and then uh, drops. Uh, Morzod, uh, it then swings around and rakes at you with your claws. Uh, first roll is a twenty with its claws. <laughs> it uh, does a twenty-two hit you. It does. Okay, and a seventeen. That's a equal to my AC. Uh, so that does that hit you. That's yeah, still right. Okay. So, uh, the first claw deals 13 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. The second claw does another 13 points of slashing damage. Oh, well, look, that's nice and balanced. All right. And that is the dragon's turn. Right. Oh, I should Oh, just... he has to make a strength saving throw, please. Ah, uh, yes. The... Yeah, he is. He also needs to roll, and no, he doesn't get his cold breath, breath back. back. Um, and a strength saving throw. Bad Mr. Frosty. Uh, 19. I hate this dragon. Damn it, wouldn't it be funny if he died from accidentally slipping on some ice? <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that would be pretty amazing. Dragon you are. I had, undignified. I had a party where we made it through like several boss incidents and we never actually killed anyone. Like the boss died because we distracted one of his mooks so hard that he shot his boss in the neck kind of thing. So, <laughs> Morzod, it is your turn. Vatericus is incapacitated again. Yes. Um, but so the dragon is, is now very much in your face. Very much in my face. Okay, um, just a I'm moment surely here. very hurt. And Orsi seems yeah. to be running away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I was going to come back. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I was frightened. All right. Um, so I want to I wanna hit him with... Wait, 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 wait. No, my mistake. 
carry on. Sorry. No, no, no. Finish that thought. No. Uh, yeah, it's going to... The lightning from the sphere is on Orsi's turn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so n- never yeah. mind. Carry on. Okay, cool. So the two things that I wish to do in this turn are my bonus action with the spirit of folding chair. Um, That'll kill it. And I also want to throw down and inflict wounds um, because that's a plus 11 to hit rather than the plus 6 in my skillet. Okay. Um, And I can throw down inflict wounds at a high level and it does 1d10 extra for each level above first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Inflict wounds is one of the strongest first level spells. It just gets crazy with high levels. Yeah. So, um, well, I already used my fifth level. Let me click that box. Um, so I'm going to throw a fourth level inflict wounds at him, but can I do the chair first or do I have to do my action first? You can bonus action. Yeah, bonus. bonus you can take your I, uh, actions yeah, I want to find out if the any chair order. kills him first. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, yeah, roll for a spiritual folding chair. Does 25 hit him? It does. Excellent. <laughs> right and on the back of the head. If you kill my dragon with a spiritual with folding a chair. chair. Folding chair. Yes. I'm, I'm, I mean, I... I please do it. Roll the damage. Roll the damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right on the back uh, of the head. Yeah. I also want to say that I wanted to cast it at when when I casted it at fourth level. Okay. Um. So, so we got a fourth level spiritual folding chair, which means that it gets uh, an extra D8, 1D8 <laughs> for every level above second, so it gets two extra. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when yep. you like click on the damage, it will already have that automatically next to the spell level. Uh, so uh, how do chair's I... chair's a little bit different, I think. Yeah, the chair's weird because it's also a thing that arrives. Um, so if I go forth and then... No, it's, yeah, there. If you just scroll down to your fourth level spells. Okay, now it's cast in level four. Yeah. Yep. So now you're going to whack the dragon. So now if I roll the 1d8 plus five, the thing didn't change for what damage spiritual folding chair does, but I'm just going to trust that D&D Beyond is going to do the thing. Mm-hmm. Do the thing! So it rolled, it, it. okay, it just rolled, it just rolled 1d8 plus five, which uh, did comes you... out as... It could sc- be 2d8 plus yeah, 5, yeah? If you scroll down on your spell Possibly list to your 4th level yeah. spells, there will be the 4th level version of Spiritual Folding Chair. It's the oh, last spell so I in clicked your the wrong level. one! Yep, so, okay. yeah. so you need to go down to the 4th level, So yes, come down to the 4th level Spiritual Folding Chair, and then yeah, so it's 2d8 plus 2D8 5. 2d8 plus 5. Yeah, yeah, just hit that. So roll that one for a total of 19. Yes. <laughs> so we the dragon dragon with the Morzod or Zindi, the, Zindi the chair. can you please describe how you kill this dragon with a spiritual folding chair? What does it look like? <laughs> I mean, the chair, the chair had manifested, and Morzod like gripping action. He knows where it is. The chair knows where it is. Um, and he just whoop, whoop, swings, but we got that Dragon Ball Z kind of, there is chair, there is energy, there is, there is <laughs> exploding light and, and, and righteous religious stuff going on, but also I have just belted him in the face with a chair, because I am really not happy about what he did to my bard. <laughs> okay, so, yep, yeah, uh. Lightning, lightning, all sorts of. Can, uh, can he flip? It, it's rah, oh my rah, god! Rah, it's like hit, goddamn hit, WWE in here. And then this thing yeah. just comes down, bam, 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 yeah. bam, <laughs> and oh, man, the dragon the chair then. Oh man! drive him into the. Yeah. And the dragon is at the end of this. The dragon is lying down. Um, there's just a little bit of blood coming out of its mouth, and it it lets out its last <sighs> monstrous death rattle. It doesn't um, land on Viterricus, does it? No, he's part, but v- no. behind it. But no, it, 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 it does um, land on it what is left of that. Oh, on does what he is turn into little Pavat. dust? Uh, Shards. <laughs> no, it's not quite Pavat that. Not quite that floor. brittle, but um, okay. uh, I would say the burning arm does come off. Oh. <laughs> does it turn into like a monkey's paw? Can we collect that? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe we're the bad guys. So you are. <laughs> we're the baddies. We're the new 
troll guys. You have de- mm-hmm. defeated him, Radanil the White. Oh my god. Orsi is going to immediately run over to Vitericus. Uh, Vitericus, give me Very a unconscious. death saving throw, please. Yes, let's and do it. The storm sphere is gone, by the way. Oh, that was so close to being a one, but it's a 13. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So, uh, Orsi's going to give him a potion. Cool. Can healing he do potion. That if he's under? Yeah, healing potion. Yeah, I can shove a healing potion down his throat, right? Oh. Yeah, I don't know um, how that works. It's a bit. It seems a bit weird to me. I'm um, not doing Mononoke. I'm not going to kiss him and do it. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? He's taking a healing potion, or he's not getting healed. Fan fiction notebook. Put on his head and let fate decide. And yeah. then Orsi leans in. I'm sure, someone's writing that. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. You can force the uh, healing potion down his throat. Hell yeah. Cool. So what do I get? Yeah, it's what one. I've got a greater, so that's you get the hiccups, 44 what you get. plus 4. Mm, well, yeah. 1, it's 2, true. 3, 4. I will roll. Oh, pretty good. 10, 14. 14 points yes. of healing. Whoa. Are you all right? Uh, <laughs> Butericus, the flame on your rapier has gone out, so it's quite dark again down here. You <laughs> can't see shit, Captain. Mm, I'm, uh, I'm going to reach around for my sword and find it and ignite it again then. Or she will take a step back when that happens. Oh, mm. I'm okay, I think. Oh, that dragon really it, went for you. Is it dead? Did we get it? I'm pretty sure. I sort of ducked around the corner after the last lightning bolt, but it's definitely dead. Mozart's standing there nudging it with his boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, f- I think it's dead. You can give me a nature what? check if you want, or a medicine yeah, check. Right. What, what about, I've got a, a medicine. I'm real good at yeah. that, so I'll, I'll just drop a medicine check. That's a 24. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead, it's yeah. Dead. Yeah, I'll dead. Think it, I think it's dead, lad. <sighs> Should have let me walk out of the fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got him. I'd like to think I did. This Well, I didn't, but this, the shades did. I mean, you breathed fire twice. That was pretty cool. Hey, I ain't yeah, never seen some... you done that before. Some hey, asshole um... red dragon has decided to hang out and haunt this guy, so... Yeah, us, I, I guess. Mozord or Dagmar or Viteric is someone who knows a little bit more about stuff than me. The orc's dead, right? Like, he's dead. Like, he's uh, dead, Dagmar right? is still around the corner, potentially frightened, so... Mozord didn't see that the guys had his uh, throat slit. He did um, hear the dragon say that the... What's his name? Slew him, but yeah. he doesn't know for sure. Yeah, Dagmar, well, throat's cut, so... Yeah, Dagmar, the source of your fear is dead, so you are no longer frightened. You're okay now. Okay. You are okay, no so longer... Has sort of crawled around yeah. the corner. I mean, you're not, you're not worried. You heard it death gargle. <laughs> and so you it's can see... Scary, them standing around the corpse, you can also see a uh, pile of gold and other yes. objects behind it. Okay, is it so frozen? Dagmar is going to continue to crawl past everybody. She's still a little traumatized, but she's making a beeline for the gold. Some of the some of the gold is above the ice, but some of it is below. Right. Right, who's Where? got fire? <laughs> who's got a lot of fire? I don't have fire, but I do have detect magic. Hang on, um, give what? me a moment. I thought you had um, fire bowl. Now I have a lightning ball. Oh. Dagmar, Sorry. can you find for me a, a coin that looks like it's somewhere between the main horde and us? Um, sure. Thank you. Can I do that, dear? Uh, yeah. You mean one uh, that's in the ice? Yeah, one in the ice, somewhere between, like, the bulk of the horde and us. Oh, he's yeah. gonna melt it! Oh, he's yeah. gonna... Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, um, Dagmar would like to find a good one that is close Wait, to a lot of other very Wait, how does this water go? Things. Well, yes, I guess we'll find out shortly, but I'm basically going to hold it until it burns through and then let go of the spell. Okay. Uh, yeah, so heat metal, um, mm-hmm. the ice around this particular coin uh, very quickly turns to water. Um, you probably get steam Steam after starts to fill the space, and uh, before long you that. have... Um, it's not going to just turn the entire floor to water um mm. but you now have access to that coin and say a, everything within the five feet around it um but if you wanted ac- if you want access to the entire horde you will need to do that multiple times or find other ways 
to get down. Um, what's your roll? Detect magic and see what's really lighting up the space magically. Okay. Uh, Orsi, you detect four magical items in this hoard. There is a ring. There is an object uh, about two inches across. Looks to be sort of a dodecahedron in shape. Okay. There is that's a D. That's a D twelve. Yeah, it's, it would appear to be a D12, but there's no numbers on it that you can see. Right. Okay, cool. There is a, a hollow metal tube that's about a foot long. And uh, so a ring, a tube, a dodecahedron. And a broom. The broom! I really want to find out what the fuck that is. It better it fly. fly. the broom. And broom. It'll be like a broom of plus one cleaning. Is is everything under the ice? So the broom's not under the ice, right? Uh, the broom is under the ice. Broom is under the ice. Yeah. Um, is everything else under the ice? Is everything under the ice? All of the magical objects are under the ice. Under the ice. Yeah. Um, or, hey, Vitericus, can you, like, mm. do you want to, like, focus that sort of fire attention? I could probably lightning bolt this stuff out of here, but it's going to take a long time and it's going to be a lot of ice shards flying everywhere. Mm, let's it's see how we go dangerous. with... Let's let's try this. Uh, what, so what, what exactly do you want? And I'm going to get Aussie to point out specifically yeah. where he wants me to burn some holes. Ring, tube, dodecahedron, be careful around the broom, because it's maybe... Well, you probably can't burn a magical item, so it's probably fine, so... so be wet. Uh, be how many, how many uses it. of heat metal does Vitericus have? Isn't it a cantrip? No, it's not. No, no. <laughs> I wish. Okay. Way too but powerful. I have, I have eight spells left in my holster. Okay. Uh, well, you can... Uh, it'll take four to uh, get all four magic items because they're not all in the same five foot square mm -hmm. spread out a bit um but I imagine we get like a handful of gold every time if yep, i you use also ball get some... lightning would the light would enough ice explode that we could get some stuff out i mean it doesn't really matter i've still got four more uses of heat metal i can grab like if anyone's got something big we're I pulling out, we're pulling, out fist, and... we're pulling out fistfuls of gold and we just confirmed mm -hmm. all the uh, all the magic items Daxter um, has her arrows set to fire, which you've said just turn into fireballs. If she shoots them at the floor, will that help? Uh, it would if this was Zelda. It will <laughs> work very slowly. Like, this is a big block of solid ice and your flaming it arrows. Uh, it, it's, it would be not unlike holding a uh, lighter under... You know, a chunk of ice, uh, a brick of <laughs> ice. So it will work. It will melt. It will just take a long time. Uh, well, let's yeah, let's look. just focus on those magic items. Let's just get those out. Okay. While you're doing that, she is going to find a sort of condensed area of gold nearish the surface. Just... All right. Give me an <laughs> investigation roll to try and work out where's a good spot. Yeah, you because know, it's not just gold. There are gems. Yeah, precious oh. stones and other oh, yeah. things. She likes gems. This is the kind uh, of thing. Six, I was Sixteen. Say, Sixteen. We got diamonds. We can increase the collection. Okay, yeah, you like she is. She's actually aiming for rocks. Yeah, uh, you find a spot where, um, it's a little bit. It's not far under the ice. It's very hard to see, but it is a diamond. Oh, she's going for that diamond. Uh, while she's doing that, uh, identify once we get everything out. Mm. Okay. Uh, Dagmar, do you want a hand? I can just burn through it for you if you want. Yes, please. <laughs> Great. There's another heat metal gone. Surprise! There's another dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, that this diamond, diamond better not be haunted. That Surprise, is the a... water is actually a, a mimic elemental or whatever. Can that... you guys yeah. not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that diamond um, is quite large and beautifully cut. Mm -hmm. And Dagmar, oh. you would accurate, accurately appraise it as being worth ooh, about 500 gold pieces. Mm. Yeah. Oh, she's um, got her rock yeah. and stone. So I think what I'm going to do now is ask, do you take the time to excavate this entire hoard or do you just get what's easy? Excavating the entire hoard will probably take you hours. I mean, nobody knows we're down here and... <laughs> Uh, the Goliath does. I reckon we grab what we can. The Goliath knows yeah, you take went. The magic. Goliath knows well, you inside. went into the building. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, he doesn't know we went downstairs. He doesn't know there's a second cellar. No, but we also didn't close any of the doors behind us. So I reckon grab what we can. 
head back up yeah. and then say, hey, did you know that there's a giant hoard of gold down there? And then Opportunity has the money they need and we're all good. And then they feel like they've got something. We have a bunch we've of stuff something. that we don't tell them about and exactly. we, we're off. Cool. And we've got yeah. free passage to through Opportunity okay. from this point forward. Well, like, in that I case... I support this plan. Uh, and they like us. Does anyone... Aussie, are there any spell components you can get from picking over a dragon? Uh, Orsi is ignoring Morzord while he casts Identify. Okay. okay. So, first of all, uh, in terms of coins, uh, you manage to get away with about two-thirds of the uh, gold coins, uh, <laughs> totaling 8,000. Oh! Morzord, Shit. while they're Holy doing chicken. this, <laughs> Morz Morzord is, like, carrying anything that they ask him to carry, but he's... He's looking at the dragon and he's getting kind of like deeply rooted orky desire to take a trophy. <laughs> um, are there are there bits on this dragon that he could uh, like? Oh is there, yeah. Is there a good is there a good dragon bit that he could uh, horns, respond with? Horns, claws, teeth. Those teeth. are yep. the popular teeth. choices. I, I feel like Mozod. While these guys are picking out the gold, Mozod is just gonna pick over the dragon and get bits. Um, so definitely the teeth. Um, and yeah, pull out claws, and if he can get a handle on a horn or two, then he's he's absolutely into that. Cool. He's, he's, I hope he's you actually make an amazing hat. Give he's me... actually getting a bit orky there, just like really. Give yeah. me a survival check for butchering this thing. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I do like medicine as a sort of anatomical, yeah. no, steady would... thing? You could do nature, but it's nature yeah. or survival. No, no survival, and that's cool. Oh, ninety one. Oh. oh, it was a yucky, tired dragon. Yeah, you but, get one. Like... Of, you manage to yank out one of the smaller teeth. Ah, which is, <laughs> you know, could Can be. Can I a... go and pick them up off the floor? The ones that I knocked out with the chair. <laughs> uh, sadly, they've all been shattered. Aww. Um that is so sad. So the natty one. That's awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it comes to a six, but still. Uh, uh Orsi. Uh, in as you assume you're ritually identifying or casting identify. Ritually. So why all of this has been going on has been yep. sitting there for ten No minutes. problem. Um. So you identify the broom is a broom of flying. Yes. The chime is a chime of opening is that the tubey shaped thing no no it uh, sorry no. the uh, the metal tube is a chime of opening the uh, yep. chime ring of opening. the ring is the oft requested ring of the grammarian yeah we finally got the ring of the grammarian and what does that mean <laughs> you'll find out <laughs> i will send you Such a fun. link to the dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Yeah. And I'm sending this to you as a private message, so you oh. can just you can then decide how will Orsi respond oh. upon seeing this, and it'll probably take you a moment to read it. Okay. Eye of destiny. Let's go. Okay. So. Um, Ooh. Hey, can one of you give me a handful of these teeth? I'm doing terrible. They're real stuck. Uh, also, what? in the Discord chat, I've just put up the list a list of the gems that Dagmar has uncovered. So there's an amethyst, a blue quartz, star rose quartz, alexandrite, white pearl, and a very shiny diamond. <laughs> um, Dagmar is so happy about this. She is going to offer to help Morzod pull some teeth from the dragon, if that's okay. Okay, Morzod, please roll survival again. Uh, I'll give you Bardic as well. I'll be like, that one there. That one looks like a really good one. You should definitely get that. That one looks like a good tooth. Okay. So, what does the Bardic do? That's. Uh, let's you add a D10 to add whatever you roll. Add a D10 to whatever I'm rolling. Um, so, I, I'll just roll that after I roll the survival, huh? Yeah, correct. Yep. And with yeah. advantage from Dagmar? Is that the. Oh, with advantage? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, this is no? Just, just a re roll no, just because it's yeah. as though you oh, gave yeah. Sorry, yes. him advantage yeah, 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 on yeah. the first time. Yeah, so um, Dagmar's basically just standing near you, cupping her her handful of gems and just beaming at you. <laughs> that's so cute, though. Um, <laughs> so that's a sixteen, and then what was it? I roll, Vidi. Uh, an extra D ten. 
an extra D10. Because I'm a good bard now. You're, you're a lovely bard. <laughs> I like you a lot, and you've given me a 7. So 16 plus 7. Uh, that's pretty good. You now get okay. a... Uh, you Just managed to get a bits. nice, big, long dragon tooth and mm. a claw from one of its feet. Okay, um, cool. And it's sort of like, um, you know, uh, Sam Neil with the Velociraptor claw, but mm -hmm. yeah. three <laughs> times that length. Mm, that's okay. That guy was big. Uh, yeah, was this... he gonna slap his thighs and stand up? Right. Um, who wants a flying broom? <laughs> what sort of question is that? <laughs> Surely um, you, right? And I think that's actually a great place to end tonight's session. <laughs> Um, uh, with Who Wants a Flying Broom? And yep. uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be back next week to find out who gets the flying broom and maybe what that dodecahedron is. Uh, thanks for watching. Well, it's a, it's a D12, isn't it? Bye. Yeah. <laughs>